Hi everyone. Welcome to Kriti's Tutorials. Today we are going to start with a fresh topic structural organization in animals. So if we are talking about the structural organization in animals, you should first remember about how does our organism, our how does an organism is made up of. We all know that cell is a basic unit of life and cell is the structural and functional unit of all the living organisms. So, individual cells, they cannot do their metabolic activities so efficiently. So, the cells have to group together to perform its metabolism. So, we can define the group of cells which performing the similar function, we call it as tissues. So, what are tissues? The group of cells which are performing the single function. The group of cells which are performing the simple function. So, group of cells performing same function or similar function. Similar function is called as tissues. Okay. So, the word, the word structural organization, the term animal tissues was first coined by a scientist Bichat. So, Bichat was a scientist who first used the term animal tissues. Okay. Then, the study of tissues is called as histology. What is histology? The study of tissues is called as histology. So, study of tissues is called as histology. So, coming to the uh, coming to the tissues, the tissues are made up in such a way that each and every part of the tissues, each and every part of the organ which are made up of different types of tissues, they perform the different functions. So, based on the structure and functions, based on the structure and functions, so it is an important point, based on the structure and their functions based on the structure and their functions the tissues the animal tissues are classified into four major types the first type it is called as epithelial tissues okay the first type it is called as epithelial tissues okay the second type it is called as Connective tissue. The third type of tissue we call it as muscular tissues and the last type of tissue we call it as nervous tissues. Okay, so based on the structure and function the uh, animal tissues are classified into four different types. The first one is epithelial tissues. The second one is the connective tissues. The third one is the muscular tissues. And the fourth one is the uh, nervous tissues. So coming to this epi uh, epithelial tissues. Epithelial tissues, they generally form the outermost covering of the body. Okay, generally it is present in the lining of the body. Clear? So, it is divided into outer epithelium. And inner epithelium. Okay. So, there are many different points to be discussed about the epithelial tissues. Which we can come, which we can cross in upcoming videos, and so in this video we will just take up with the different types of the tissues. Okay, so coming to the second type of tissues, that is the connective tissues. The connective tissues are categorized into four different types. The first one is loose connective tissue. 
The first one is loose connective tissue. What is loose connective tissue? Here the tissues are loosely arranged. Okay. The second type of tissues, connective tissue, it is called as fibrous connective tissue. The second type of connective tissue, we call it as the fibrous connective tissue. The third type, it is called as fluid connective tissue. Fluid connective tissues. Okay. The third type, we call it as fluid connective tissues. And the last type, the last type of the connective tissue, it is called as compact connective tissues. Okay, so coming to the examples, coming to the coming to the particular type of, but coming to the particular name of the connective tissues, the loose connective tissues are further classified into areolar connective tissue, connective tissue can be simply written as CT. Okay, and the second one it is called as adipose tissue. Then coming to the fibrous connective tissues, the fibrous connective tissues are present in tendons and ligaments. The fluid connective tissues are seen in blood and lymph. Whereas the compact connective tissues are bone and cartilage. So these are the types of the connective tissues. Then coming to the muscular tissues. Again the muscular tissues are of three types. Muscular tissues are again classified into three types. First one is skeletal muscles. The second one is smooth muscles. And the third type of the muscular tissue, it is the, uh, first one is the skeletal muscles, the second one is the smooth muscles and the third one is the cardiac muscle. Okay, so coming to the nervous tissues, nervous tissues they don't have different types but the main function of the nervous tissue is the conduction of the impulse in our body. So, coming once again, coming to the structure and organization in animals, we should know about the cell, we should know about the tissues, who the, the bichat was a son, was a person who first coined the term animal tissue and the study of tissue is called as histology. Based on their structure and functions, the animal tissues are classified into four major types. They are epithelial tissues, connective tissues, muscular tissues and nervous tissues. So epithelial tissues, it is again divided into outer epithelium and inner epithelium. So coming to the connective tissues, it is, it is divided into four types. The first one is loose connective tissue, which, is, which can be further branched into areolar connective tissues and adipose tissue. Then coming to the fibrous connective tissues, they are seen in tendons and ligaments. And coming to fluid connective tissues, those are seen in blood and lymph. Whereas the compo, compact connective tissues are seen in bone and cartilages. So coming to the muscular tissues, it is again classified into three types. The first one is skeletal muscles, the second one is the smooth muscles and the third one is the cardiac muscle. Then coming to the nervous tissues, the nervous tissues helps to, helps to conduct the impulse in our body. So in the next video, let us take up with the epithelial tissues in detail. Thank you.